Your tenancy website has a lot of options to customize and tailor the different functionalities inside, specifically for your organization. And in order for us to provide that, that means there's a lot of different settings that can be a little overwhelming when you are just setting up a site. So this video is to show you a little bit about where to get started setting up those different configurations and we'll take you into a deeper level in other videos and other help files. This will get your site set up and going and not overwhelm you as much. The first place you want to go is up under your admin bar to quick links and click on site settings. Once you've clicked on here you're going to go to the general place where you can change your address, your administrator emails, where notifications go as the system sends it out. This is just the basics, what currency, what time format you want. There's some SEO optimization in here for your Google Analytics and your locations. This is where if you're going to accept online payments, you'll turn on the settings for accepting them and entering your merchant account information and you'll find where to redirect your dashboard, how to set up your file, changing little things like your site name, you might want to change the way that looks, add a policy, your time zone, which will become something that when you're adding events and your news notifications, it will remember your time zone here and automatically populate everything for your specific area. You can also determine if you want to use Capture or not, and you'll update all of these settings. In your footer here where it has address, phone number, the email notifications, that will automatically update when you change it in this site settings file and there will be other regions in your site that will also automatically update once you've saved. So once you've done that, the second place you want to go is up to your admin bar again to themes and theme settings. This is a little shorter list and you'll want to add your social media sites here you can change your site logo if you've already uploaded it and there's some other areas you'll use later on if you want to change things after you set up your site. So again here's where you add Facebook, your LinkedIn URL, if you want to change your logo. Down here we have sidebar spaces. These are things on your home page and internal content for adding and editing. We'll have showed you how to set that up in other videos and if you ever want to change it this is where you would come to change it after you've set it up. If your site has multiple theme color options, you would choose that here, and then you would update it. Those are the two main places to get started setting up all the little configurations that are specific to you. There are a number of other places to go, and I really hope you'll take some time to look through them, and we won't cover them in this video, but I will show you how to find them. Here, you can see we have a green plus sign for all these different content types, a magnifying search sign, and then we have the little wheel setting symbol. So the settings for each individual module, articles, boxes, directories, etc., it's all on this bottom right hand side where you would click. So for example, if you wanted to see what the article settings were like, you would click on that settings wheel, and here's the settings for the articles module. And again, that widget also incorporates through your different membership settings and then you can find a full settings list here under quick links all in one view without having the admin view. It can be a little overwhelming so spend a little bit of time after you've set up your global site settings and your theme settings just looking through which ones are relevant to your organization and spend some time in our help files. If you need any help, here's our support guide. You can find a guide or help files, send us feedback, and you can email our support team with your questions anytime.